Hey, what's up? Um, today I'm going to talk about how um, absolutely depraved the Maltese medical uh, community is, how the Maltese medical uh, staff treat somebody with crippling and worsening insomnia. Um, so as many of you know, I've been suffering from progressively worsening insomnia since uh, July, August 2019. Um, and I was put on 7.5 milligrams of olanzapine and um, I was sleeping well on it for, for some weeks, but then my insomnia worsened. And ever since then, it's just been a, increasing the dosage of my medications higher and higher and higher. Um, now, I want to talk a bit about how... Uh, how terrible the multi system is for for treating this kind of insomnia. Instead of getting sent to um, neurology, um, since it's clearly a neurological issue, um, they locked me up in a hospital called Mount Carmel. And um, Mount Carmel is the worst hospital, mental hospital in the world, most likely, or, or at least if not the world, certainly in Europe. Uh, if you just Google Mount Carmel Hospital Malta, you'll find some horror stories, and they're all true. Um, so anyway, recently-ish, some months ago, a guy called Abner Aquilina um, murdered um, a girl. Uh, he stabbed her to death, and um, he got sent to Mount Carmel. Um, and uh, in, that's that's the most sort of recent notorious um, person who was who was taken to Mount Carmel. But uh, anyway, in the wards that I was in, I was in what was called the MAW, M A W mixed admission ward. And in inside the hospital, um, inside that part of hospital, things are pretty fucking dire as well. At one one of my stays at the mental hospital, um, there was a guy who was shitting on, all over himself, smearing his shit on the door, throwing shit at at uh, at other people. Um, there was a, a girl who was constantly muttering nonsense, babbling on and on and on, on, walking up and down, up and down, up and down, talking babbling nonsense. Um, what has drug addicts um, just yeah just a, a complete mixture of of cases there's a lot of schizophrenic people uh, some really rough shit some pretty rough shit and the Maltese medical system instead of transferring me to a hospital where I can safely um, take treatment w uh, w with serious monitoring um, instead of taking me down that path they lock me up in Mount Carmel with the rest of, this, of these nut cases um, and that's not right, it's just not fucking right it's, it's, it's stupid it's completely stupid. Um, why does somebody who needs to sleep so badly, why am I treated like an insane person? Why am I sent to the same hospital with insane people? Um, it's just not right. It's not right. And, um, you know, going days and days and days without sleep, um, it's it it it's, it's bound to kill me as for sure you know sooner than the medication is going to kill me at this rate um but yeah it's it's just such a miserable fucking situation um the second i put one two out of line in, in other words take a bit more medication in order to sleep boom locked up in mount carmel um if I sleep so little that I, I start to feel really bad, boom, Mount Carmel. 
You know, it's it's that's just so infuriating. Is that that you know, I I I need help. I need support. But locking me up in a mental hospital is not supporting me. It's throwing me to the wolves. And um, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I mean, God forbid I get sent to Mount Carmel again. Um, they will r remove the medication for me like they did the last time I went. Uh, in January. This is way back in January. And um, oh, sorry, I've forgotten. I've I lost my train of, of thought. Um, but anyway, the point is that um, Jesus Christ, I'm forgetting uh, so often lately. Really forgetting stuff over and over. Um, but yeah, what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that um, there have been no serious or well-intentioned tests run by well-intentioned doctors at the main hospital, at Mater Dei Hospital. All the inverted commas observation, which which is a fucking joke, was done at Mount Carmel. And... Um, Basically, um, Mount Carmel, the carers over there. So Mount Carmel is has two main types of stuff. There are the carers, which are from Bangladesh, Pakistan, um, India, and so on. That that's part of the world. Um, those carers uh, do jack shit all day. They just play on their phones and uh, do absolutely nothing. Basically. Uh, but then they are used, they are assigned to a patient and um, the patient uh, is at their mercy basically and and when I was there myself in 2021, I think it was the last time I was admitted, if I'm not mistaken, um, they what they do is they put two sofas together and they lie on the sofas and they get bed sheets and bedding and they sleep they sleep right next to you um they just just it's just ridiculous and then they say you're being monitored um not to mention even on the neurology side of things the eeg reports mentioned didn't mention a single uh bit of information about um um, just a sec. Yeah, the EEG report didn't mention a single incident of um, my sleep patterns. They didn't say anything like Carl slept at such and such a time, Carl woke up at such and such a time, uh, Carl fell back asleep again at such and such a time. It was nowhere in the report. It doesn't mention anywhere about how long I slept. Uh, and how many times I woke up, none of those things were recorded. Um, not to mention that on, on, on the Thursday that I was there, we're talking back in March of this year now, it was a Thursday evening. Uh, at four in the morning, a fucking carer came to give me the omeprazole. He woke me up at four in the morning to give me my omeprazole. It's just a fucking joke. It's just a joke. They're just so nasty and mean and you know, denigrating, it's just, just terrible. Um, this is, this is a smarter day, uh, thankfully at least, uh, you know, thank, thank goodness for small mercies, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's just, just it's so stupid and what, a single toe out of line, and you get thrown into the same building and facilities where Schizophrenic murderers, drug traffickers, drug takers, abusers, they're all lumped into one single box and uh, thrown together into the mixed admission ward, the MO. Um, doctors are overloaded with cases, there's, there's a massive, massive, massive shortage of psychiatric stuff, um, both nurses and uh, and doctors 
especially doctors. So practically no time is given at all to to each patient. Like and to underline that point, to prove that point. Um, I last saw my psychiatrist uh, two or three months ago. I can't remember how long it's been. I think it's been a couple of months. And the next appointment I could get was in November of this year. Um, just to, to show, and, and then you go in, you, you, I, you go into this appointment, you sit your ass down on the chair, you tell the doctor, look, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, and they say, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do for you anymore, because you've reached the maximum amount of medication, and there's nothing we can do to help you. Um, that's that's just literally what was told to me last the last time I went to uh, to my psychiatric review. Um, but yeah, the insomnia has been worsening like clockwork. Every ten to twelve weeks, it worsens, and uh, it doesn't look like there's any hope in the, for the future. Um, and so. Despite that, I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep on pushing forward um, until I can't sleep at all, regardless of any dose that I take. Um, anyways, um, I've rambled that this this should have been a bit more planned this video, um, but I'm just getting things off the top of my head basically. Um, anyway, that's all guys, that's all.